Life Match Out 159 here. Uh, bringing you a little video. I have not done one in a while. I apologize for that. <clears throat> but I am now the proud owner of a 10 gallon freshwater aquarium. Uh, I just put in the fish today. I've let him sit for just about an hour and a half. And I uh, just want to do like a little video showing you like everything you'll need and giving you like a basic overrun of how you'll set it up. Alright, so, to start off, <coughs> you will need to go to your local pet store, or fish store, if you have one nearby. The uh, closest thing I had was Petco, so I went there. Um, so I got this, the Tetra Complete LED Aquarium. I chose, um, chose the LED because it is, it's brighter. It's got the natural daylight effect, so as you can see, it kind of just looks like day. It's not shocking the fish or anything, and uh, I, I just think it looks better. It makes the water look clear, and um, so yeah, I got this one, the 10-gallon freshwater thing. Um, you'll need a bowl of some sort. You'll need a bag of gravel. You'll need some chemicals, such as stress zyme. And then I got this. It's like a little startup kit. Comes with a uh, stress coat plus and quick start bottle. You will need, um, if you buy this one, the things that you will have to buy separately are this uh, Whisper 10 gallon aquarium pump. It is actually very quiet. I'm using it. It's right there. It's got all tubed up. But, uh, yeah, it's very quiet. Probably can't even hear it right now. Here, I'll be quiet for a second. Yeah, so you can barely hear it. Uh, you'll need some tubing. You'll need a paper cup, or just a regular cup. A new towel that doesn't have all the chemicals and soap and stuff on it. Let's remove this gravel. You will need food. And... The, uh, let's call it this, right here. It comes with a trial size Tretramin Top Tropical Flakes. So put that back there. And it comes with this Aqua Safe Conditioner. And I use that for tap water. And what this is, it just cleans your tap water, gets rid of the harsh chemicals that can hurt your fish to where it makes them safe. <coughs> Alright, so now. I'll just show you what this comes with real quick. Um, oh, on the side, tells you why like LED is better than that bulb. Um, Alright, so here's everything it comes with. I'm going to grab a flashlight real quick. Cause it might be a little bit dark on the camera. Alright. This is glass aquarium. That's the dimensions. It says it's built to last. Made in the USA. And it's scratch resistant, so that's a good thing. It comes with a heater and a thermometer. It says maintain the water temperature, essential for tropical fish keeping. It has product samples, such as the ones that I showed you earlier. And it's got a uh, filter, a whisper 10 gallon filter. And that is also very quiet. And it comes with one, um, let's call it this right here, the activated carbon thing, uh, what's it called, the bio, bio bag. It comes with one of those, it's a medium sized. So yeah, and there, again, is the advantages and disadvantages. That is everything that comes with the tank. <laughs> and it, up at top it says some stuff that you might want to buy. Alright. Oh, and you also need some decorations. And stuff like that. Just the essentials for fish keeping. Um, that box that it comes with also includes this startup manual. Fish keeping startup manual. It's actually very detailed, very uh, 
it's very helpful. It actually, this is my very first fish tank ever, except for you know, like the little goldfish fish tanks that last for like maybe a month. <coughs> but yes, so that's very informational and it helped me a lot, especially with setting it all up. All right, so we need some stress zyme. It's got information on the back, what to do with it. And what this does is it, um, it like produces some bacteria to help. It uh, pretty much like imp improves the flow, that uh, gets rid of like sludge and stuff. Keep your fish tank clean and looking fresh like that. Uh, here's the startup kit. Uh, it's got stress coat, which uh, it's pretty much like it helps your fish relieve like their stress and like help them get better if they're hurt or if like injured or sick. And startup makes it to where like it starts up the um, the uh, aquarium fish cycle. Nick, it says like pretty much what both of them do. Might be able to read that. And uh, right down the back, shows like how much stuff you'll need for certain things, like when changing the water, when adding new fish, after changing filter, and to help heal damaged and sick fins. All right, next, let's go on to this. This uh, Tetra Whisper air pump. It's very good, uh, very quiet. As it says right here, everything right here is completely true. Uh, yeah, and it comes with a a flow valve and some instructions. So this box, fairly simple. Okay, let me just set that back up there. Uh, quite essential airline tubing, pretty cheap. Spider it's Petco. Uh, I got these color flakes to enhance color because I got mostly most colored fish only one of them is uncolored and I'm gonna keep adding it over time but this is just like my starter fish to get my ecosystem going alright so for those of you who do not know like how you would get a tank started it is fairly simple first I would just go over some very undetailed instructions I guess or guidelines rather you would take your take everything out of the box take out the tank get a new rag get it a little bit wet and wipe down the insides and outsides of it to get rid of any uh, any dust or uh, build up or anything like that then what you want to do is you want to get your gravel any kind any, any color gravel just make sure you have enough to coat the bottom of it then you want to uh, get like a strainer I, I just use like a little KitchenAid strainer and uh, I just poured the rocks into the strainer and just washed it out for like maybe like three or four minutes. Do not use any chemicals when washing out anything. It can harm your fish. Just use normal tap water. Make sure you rinse it off and dry it off good before uh, putting it into your tank. And then you want to put your, it's called the gravel. You want to put your gravel on the tank, on the bottom of the tank. And then you would want to fill it about here about a third of the way full and then you would add in your decorations and stuff and then uh, you would put in you plug in your thermometer and your uh, or your thermometer right here and your heater back there uh, if you want you could put in the filter but do not turn anything on quite yet <laughs> then you want to add in all your decorations you want to uh, back decorations mid and front decorations and you want hiding places too such as that one right there. And um, then you want to fill your water all the way back up and add in all the chemicals that you need and then let it sit for about 24 hours and then you can uh, test it, make sure the pH levels are all good, make sure the temperature is right at where you want it. Probably can't tell, but mine is right here at 78 degrees, right where I want it. And yeah, you also want some sort of filtration. As you can see the whisper filter. here. It's actually a very good filter. I like it. And you want some sort of air flowing through your tank or else it kind of just gets bland. So what I've chosen over here, let me just plug everything in. Okay. 
is right there. Alright, it's first back there. You'll see some bubbles. So you want quite a few bubbles. But you don't want too much bubbles to where it could like harm the fish's swimming ability. And then I have that one. Oh wait, I'll start it up slow. It's got some red LEDs at the bottom. And you can see it spits out bubbles. All right, so we got some bubbles back in the back corner. Right there. And you got some bubbles right there. So, real quick, I will go over the fish that I got. Uh, very great beginner fish, especially, they're very hardy fish. So these are great to have your first fish in your aquarium. Um, might not be able to see it, but well, I guess you kind of can. Right there, there's its eye. That is a Chinese algae eater. Um, that is just about an adult, so I only recommend getting one of those per tank, or else they will fight because they're very territorial. I got the red selfin mollies. I believe, or sun, sunrise, or sunset, something, so red sin, sailfin mollies. Uh, I got four of those, one of those Chinese algae eaters, and I was looking through the tanks, and I saw two baby little neon tetras. I kind of felt bad for them, so I, I, I just grabbed them, you know. They seemed, I, I'm not necessarily hurt, but they were the only neon tetras, and they were tiny little babies. So I grabbed them. One is right there. They're still little fries, just a little tad bit older than fries, and I am not quite sure where the other one is, but yeah, so, you know, that, that was uh, my tank review and setup guideline, I guess, so again, been Mudshot159. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.